Hi, I'm Diana, and I want to tell you about something I once saw. It was a time also known as Hari Raya in Egypt, and I was taking a walk with my family. We were laughing and joking along until we came across a man who seemed to be holding a sheep by its legs. I was little at the time and did not really know anything, so I thought, oh, what a cute little sheep. I want to go and pet it. As I walked towards it, the man got the sheep and hung it on a big hook. I then watched as the man got a really big knife. I began to get an uncomfortable feeling on the inside, but I still stared. The man then got the knife and put it on the sheep's throat. The, and then sliced. The sheep made noises and tried to fight the torture and its eventual slaughter, but it could not stop what was happening. I love animals, and I always have, but I never want to see that happen ever again. That was probably the exact moment I started to invest my attention more into making people aware of their own actions into the constant abuse of animals. According to sentiamunity.org, every 60 seconds animal abuse and animal cruelty are in this world. Animal abuse is the physical harm or neglect of an animal, but not everyone sees behavior as abusive. When a man kicks his dog because it messed the floor instead of waiting to go outside, or when a woman slaps her horse to emphasize a command, or when someone shoes a cat with a kick because it messed the furniture, or when a trainer whips his tiger to get him to jump through the fire hoop, you might not think of those as abusive, but all those are examples of someone abusing an animal. Abuse can happen in many other ways too. People use animals for so much scientific testing. That is unnatural for them and can cause really aggressive itching or skin problems. What if I told you us humans are animals too? Can we do any of the things I just mentioned to a human? Or would those be examples of animal abuse? Well, these non-human animals are treated as properties or objects to treat as we wish. People also kill animals to make stuff out of them. Animal parts help to make stuff such as medicine, coats, rugs, clothing, shoes, and much more. Um, we, so how should we treat animals, our pets and best friends? We should create a safe environment that provides for their needs. People should think about what animals need for survival. Water is the medium in which all chemical reactions take place within the body of an animal. Pet owners need to know that if one animal loses one-tenth of their water, the results are fatal. Here are some signs of a dehydrated dog. Loss of appetite, vomiting, low energy, panting, dry eyes, and dry nose. People should realize animals also have diets. For example, there are carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. The food that animals eat makes them have energy. The digestive system of an animal's body converts their food into energy. Animals also need oxygen in order to survive, but they also need a good habitat. A good habitat is somewhere where they can find enough food, water, oxygen, and an appropriate type of weather. Here are some examples of habitats. Deserts, oceans, jungles, polar grasslands, and wetlands. I've learned from PD.co that 65% of pet abuse is towards dog. In the U.S., more than 10 million animals die from torture and abuse every year. More than 10,000 puppy mills are in the U.S. A puppy mill is somewhere where a dog, a puppy is bred to become a dog, but it's not a natural. Uh, a healthy place for them to live in. It's somewhere where they can die in their cages. Or if they're not taken by the time they're a full-grown dog, then they're killed or processed for human consumption. More than 115 animals are used for experimenting and testing on yearly. Did you know that 97% of all abused and killed animals are on farms? Um... Every year, more than 6.5 million animals enter shelters and are not treated well. Every year, the U.S. kills over 3 million minks because they think their fur looks stylish. More than 100,000 horses in the U.S. are killed. Around 250,000 animals are victims of animal hoarding every year. In U.S. labs, about 75,000 dogs are tested on with shampoo and makeup. U.S. labs abuse more than 19,000 cats. Between 5,000 and 6,000 tigers are held in China for traditional medicine making. People in China use uh, tiger eyes, tiger bones, and many other of their body parts because they think it provides more health for them. 
France slaughter around 16.8 land-based animals per person. We don't only use we don't only torture animals, we also use them for entertainment. Circus tigers are often forced to perform during the day and do not get enough sleep. Tigers are not allowed any access to water. They are trained through rough punishment and are abused or their food is taken away if a trip they do is wrong. Tigers live in an open space in the wild, but in, in circuses they are forced to be put in cages and that is unnatural for them and can cause them to pace back and forth and eventually hurt themselves. They also live alone in the wild, but in circuses they are forced to perform with other animals and that can cause really um, strong injuries or bad fights. Governments do not see this, but undercover cameras saw that tigers are being tied with big chains around their necks. Tigers need special places in order to survive. For example, they can live in mangrove swamps and evergreen forests, but they also need many other places to live. This is getting out of hand and I want people to stop abusing animals. People do not care if they see someone abuse an animal in front of them. They just stare and walk away like it's something that would happen normally. If you want to stop this, then you need to stop someone from hurting their pet in the street. You could also help by donating. Here are a few places that you can donate to. Allergic Rescuers KL, PAWS, SPCA, Mission and Mission Impossible. But there are always many other places that you can donate to. Thank you for listening.